Hey guys, it's been a while. I thought I'd do a quick video on how to read a hydrometer. You've got to have a hydrometer to brew beer um, to be successful at it anyway. And uh, you got to get comfortable uh, learning to read it. Uh, it's fairly simple. Um, you want to make sure you get a beer hydrometer. There's three or four different kinds, uh, one for wine, one for spirits, and some other ones for different substances. But anyway, um, basically what you're going to do is fill up your vessel here with your beer and drop this down in there. And wherever it floats to is what your gravity reading is. So uh, I've got this lager. I've been uh, lagering it for a few weeks. I'm getting ready to cag it and lager it for a little while longer. So uh, I'll pull a sample off and show you how to do it. grab a sample while it's siphoning here. Try not to make a mess. It's kind of hard not to. Alright, so what you want to do now is you get your hydro, drop it down in your beer, I like to tilt the vessel a little bit so it's kind of standing freely and then give it a twirl. That kind of gets some of the bubbles off of it, I've heard. I don't know if it helps or not. And kind of let it stabilize there. And then the one side, so this looks like it's right about one zero two eight because it goes in increments of two so it looks like it came up so it looks like it came up right about one zero uh, one point zero two eight which I think is about right I have to check my uh, calculations there I always taste it too Tastes strong, um, and uh, so basically you always want to take a reading before you put the yeast in, and then after it's done fermenting. Um, you can also test it along the way if you want to make sure it's done fermenting. Uh, I'd never do that. I just wait longer. Uh, maybe if I ever get a refractometer, I'll start doing that. But uh, that's how you read a hydrometer.